Okay, so that's an image of the CCBCT we've taken of the patient. Um, so it appears in four, there's this coronal, there's a sagittal, there's an axial view. Uh, we can actually come here. You can drag this cross here, here. Then the red one, you can actually rotate it. Then as you're doing this, notice what happens to uh, this. So you, you can come and click the thickness setting from 0 0.75, you can click 1.25 sharpness, you can put to 5x. Notice the image becomes a bit more sharper. We wanted to do an extraction of the 4.6. You can see there's a very large infection on the 4.6 area. Okay, which is here. Okay, um, you can align that to there. You, you can come and click on the coronal view. Same settings, come thickness 1.25 sharpness 5x okay um, now we can see the infection in its full state okay so we can then come and rotate this to the left area and observe the 36 area now the 36 area had an extraction uh, some time back the bone hasn't fully formed yet. Um, we can come and put put our cursor there. Then we can examine the bone. So there's this uh, length measurement there. Click that. Then come and look at the width of the ridge and the height. Okay. Um, the other, we can return the cross here back to how it was. Okay, um, even the blue one, we can select it to go back to how it was. We can take it up. So once we take it up, we can examine the first quadrant again. There is a premolar we need to look at. Uh, there it is fractured you can look at the long axis of the tooth you can come to this view you can see the fractured premolar as it is okay you can come to this view you can go up down so that's how you manipulate the CBCT